Um, sure. I wanted to share with you, um, okay. I, my son-in-law talked me into buying package B's from you yes. in March. Mm -hmm. So March 26th, I got okay. it. And then Memorial Day, we, I, had, mm. um, I had harvested like four frames. And then I got like five gallons um, on Labor Day. There's uh -huh. that. But this one was yeah, super yeah. dark. And I okay. was just wondering, what do you, we live in Jasper, do you know? Okay. Well, this one, yeah, how clear it is, mm -hmm. is sourwood. Sourwood. Yes. Now, have you, have you, do you know what sourwood looks like? Mm -mm. Okay. It's a white blossom that comes out right around the middle of June mm -hmm. to the end of July. Mm -hmm. And it looks like this. And it's got these little white bells that hang, mm -hmm. hang from it. Mm -hmm. And this is a very high quality honey that people will just die for. For biscuits, especially, and and it has kind of like an orange flavor. Um, I I wouldn't be able to tell you on the orange because there's no okay. orange trees okay. around or okay. anything like that there. I just wondered if they had like notes of like orange or something. No, no. Um, it is a very different tasting type of mm -hmm. of honey mm -hmm. than what you would find in this medium amber mm -hmm. and this dark amber mm -hmm. right here mm -hmm. this is probably buckwheat i was wondering mm -hmm. okay all right we'll and this is this is would be what i would classify as a typical wildflower honey okay. it's a culmination okay. of all blooms and, okay. and on that there all right thank you but yeah this is a very very high demand okay. very expensive honey okay. uh, right there okay all right thank you very all right. much very good okay.